Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's high-end four-case basketball mixer. This is this is going to be a big one. We've got a case of Prism Hobby. Look up how much those are going for now. Uh, a case of 1819 Immaculate, a case of 1718 Optic, and a case of 1617 Prism Mosaic. Plus, we're giving this Zion away, which is still actually in our vault. I don't have it on hand, but we have it in hand. We'll... we'll Randomize it to someone and you'll get it. A PSA 10 Zion should be pretty nice. Um, and this is going to be quite a mixer, so let's get started. It's going to take a few hours as well. So I might be here for a while. Big thanks to all of these folks right there. And there are the teams right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a one four times for each list. One, two, three, and four. After four times, we've got Zach down to Chris. What's up, Rex? Uh, yeah, I think so. However long it says our stream's been on, it should say. How long have we been, we've been back? We've been back for 20 minutes. All right, so Zach down to Chris. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. After four times, we've got the Orlando Magic down to the Phoenix Suns. All right, so Zach with the Magic, Greg with the Clippers, Chance with the Hawks, nice Trey Young hunting, David with the Mavs, Luka Doncic hunting, Zach with the Nets, Mac with the Bulls, Matthew Shear with the Spurs, Zach Gwynn, Knicks, RJ Barrett, Adam, who won a spot in retail 13, Celtics. What, what, do we have 17, 18 stuff in here? Yeah, you got a chance at Jason Tatum's. Zach with the Raptors, Mike Somich with my Lakers. Get all sorts of LeBrons, Laker edition LeBrons in there. There's also Cavs edition LeBrons too. We got Jacob with the Thunder, Chris with the Kings, Melanie with the Hornets, Robert with the Rockets, Jeremy 33 with the Trailblazers, Zach Paul with the Timberwolves, Ryan Shackleton with the Bucks, Giannis's, Oren with the Pacers, Adam Kupperman with the Pistons, Oren with the New Orleans Pelicans, Martin with the Grizz. Nice. So there'll be a couple of cases where we're looking for uh, uh, Zions and John ja Morant, of course. Robert with the Wizards, Hachimura, Zach Teal with the Sixers, Derek Melanson Nuggets, Heat for Greg B, Shaq with the Jazz, John with the Warriors, Brian with the Cavs, and Chris with the Phoenix Suns. Chris, that baseball filler we're going to do tomorrow. We're booked for the night after this. Any trades? Let me know if there's any trades. Oh, Rex, you got to follow us on Twitter, at Jaspie's Breaks. You would have seen that we uh, that our internet went down for a little bit. T-Wolves, Sixers available maybe? Jeremy33 looking for the Sixers. Let me get some water and then we'll check back in and then we'll break. We got, we're going to keep the trade window short because it's going to be a long break. All right. Looks like no trade, no thanks for them. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's roll. It's a three-hour break. So TWC, trade window close. I got to roll. That Prism Hobby is going to take an hour and a half. Donruss Optic will take an hour. Immaculate and the, that Prism Mosaic should take an hour. 30 minutes each for that. 
guess I'm not getting, I guess I'm getting out a little bit later. Risking my lives for the curfew, risking my, my clean legal record for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's the final, there's the final printout right here. There's everyone right here. Um, what should I start? I want to save these two for last. Let's get, let's get this going first. There you go. So we're going to kind of bounce around different years, but we're going to knock out this, uh, this 1718 Donruss Optic Basketball Hobby Edition first. All right, Brian Zeller. Yeah, catch this tomorrow. There will be, I'll do a recap video just for autographs in a separate video. So if you don't want to watch three hours of this, then you can, uh, then you can just watch the recap, I guess. That'd be cheating, wouldn't it? I love these kids on the roof. Like they're eventually they're just gonna they're gonna get caught and arrested. Hopefully they're calling their lawyers or their parents. Mom, I'm on the roof. You know, Brian, you you can you can keep the uh, keep your phone in your pocket. Turn on the video and listen in like some earbuds. You know the team. You know the teams that you have. Where are you on this list? You have the Cavs. Yeah, the four caser. I didn't realize it's gonna take me like three hours. I mean. I think an hour for this case. Prism Hobby, definitely an hour for me. And then an hour for 30 minutes for the Immaculate, 30 minutes, or maybe 10 minutes for that mosaic. 15 minutes for the mosaic. <laughs> yeah, Bill. There are, there are, there are, who it looks like obviously, definitely kids, or definitely young adults who are on, uh, who are sitting on top of the roof. I think they were protesting post curfew. To one seventy five, Courtney Lee. Clyde Drexler. And just in the interest of time, I'm breezing through all of these. Uh, can I quickly go through these cards as quickly as possible? And we're going to sleeve and top load all of these a little bit later on. You know, like that Giannis will definitely ship. The only co veteran commons that will ship is that Giannis. There's Wes Wundu. Giannis base I'm going to breeze by, but they will ship. There's Wes Wundu for the magic. Obviously, Giannis Silver I want to keep aside, though. Jason Tatum, rookie silver is key. Hollow, I think they call it, in this particular year. That's a big one for the Celtics. Bucks, uh, silver Giannis Shackleton. That's a good hit, actually. Hollow Giannis for Shaq. Hollow Tatum for Adam. Adam Despair with the uh, Celtics. And the Woundu goes to Zach and the uh, Zach M and the Magic.
More Jason Tatum that will ship. Just want to keep the rated rookie, hot like hollow Jason Tames was what I'll pull aside. Wishful thinking to ninety-nine. And Miles Teodosic is your rated rookie for the Clippers, Greg B. With that one. DJ Wilson Bucks. Lime Green. So sorry, I think I interrupted myself. The only uh is Kevin Durant. Only vet comments that'll ship LeBron, Kobe. Second year Luka Doncic's and uh, what else? LeBron's, LeBron, Kobe, Giannis. Second year Luka's, and obviously all rookie cards will ship. All inserts will ship. Vet inserts, vet parallels, vet hollows, vet silvers. They'll all ship. Uh, also, Bill, yeah, there are kids on the... I don't think I finished that comment either. There are kids on the roof. It looks like there are kids. You know, late teens, early 20s. Um, who looks like they were just out sitting in protesting and then they try to run away from the cops. Ended up on the roof of an apartment complex and uh, now are just essentially stuck there. Are they going to wait them? Are they going to wait out the cops? Are the cops cop going to go to the roof? I think they're they're lying down and they're starting to spell out something. Let's see what they're going to spell out. But. Oh, no, 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 not on my roof. No, no, I'm just, I'm watching local news on TV. Local news is pretty, <laughs> kind of awful, but. But, uh, is the camera going to show that? Oh, they're spelling out BLM, Black Lives Matter. All right, I get it. Terrence Ferguson, Oklahoma City Thunder, Jacob K with that. We got J.R. Smith to 99. So again, all of those Jason Tatums will ship. We already pulled a hollow one for you, though, Adam. So that's pretty nice. There's Bob McAdoo to 175. Ryan S. is wondering, that maybe does anyone know this for the 40 people still watching? Uh, does anyone know if Giannis, uh, if a Giannis logo man was pulled out of Immaculate, that 1819 Immaculate that we're about to pop open, which is the Trey Young Luka Doncic here, but maybe they're probably on the checklist was a Giannis logo. Was that pulled? Don't know. Sam S., yes, this is the last break of the night. This should... This break, um, we're only 15 minutes into this break. This is going to take me about two and a half hours, three hours. Okay, 
There they are. They're the kids on the roof I was talking about. Ryan S. can't find one there. Jeremy 33 is like, let's just say no for the fun of it. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. In a couple hours, we're going to pull a Giannis logo man. I'm just kidding. We don't know if we can. Someone's going to watch this entire video and they're going to be like, there was no logo man. Joe, lies. We're doing that right now. Mr. Uncle, you have the, you got randomized the Rockets. I guess I should get my schedule set up here. Looks like people are confused here. Ferguson rated rookie to 49. Dan Assel to 175. No worries. I don't think you had any more spots, right? I only I'm, I didn't really look carefully on the list, but but the uh, there's De'Aaron Fox 199. Jordan Bell for the Warriors. That'll be for Jonathan L. Kyle Lowry, Lamb Green to 175. The rookies, Tatum. Covington to 99. Mario Chalmers, gold. 9 out of 10. I guess stuff that's that low will slide over there. I guess I will pull some of the rookie Tatums now that I think about it. I don't know. We're winging it here. Tigs. Oh, all right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, that, that'll be, that'll, that'll be uh, tomorrow. These, these kids on the roof did not think of an escape plan. What did they think was going to happen? I admire their moxie. Yeah, they, they should have had parachutes. Although, I don't know. how. What's the parachute from like, looks like a two, two only a two or three story building. There's a lot of trees around, so I don't know if there's going to be a clear, clear spot for them to, to deploy the parachute and then land on their feet without <laughs> destroying their ankles. There's D'Angelo Russell to 39, Black Velocity. Those are sharp looking cards. 
Pink Velocity, Chris Middleton for the Bucks to 70. Jeremy Lamb, Lime Green. Redemption is, bam! Dylan Brooks, rated rookie signatures. Memphis Grizzlies in this set. That'll be for Martin. McSub with that one. Won that spot in a retail pack. There's a little more room here. Times, ladies and gentlemen. And the kids being, yeah, I know where that is. I've been there, downtown LA. Thompson to 49. Donovan Mitchell, nice, to 175. I'll save some of these Tatums too, although we pulled a hollow one already. That's for Adam and the Celtics. Caleb Swanigan, Velocity, Trailblaze, another redemption. I don't remember there being so many redemptions in this set. <laughs> well, I've got uh, another hour-long case to go. It's about a two-and-a-half, three-hour break, Todd, so I'm going to go faster than usual here. Generating too much heat. I had to turn on the AC. We've got, bam, out of bio. Miami Heat, that's a nice one. Greg B. I feel like he, he's been putting in some good work before the season was put on hold. Todd, how are things going in uh, going in your neck of the woods? I feel like this sort of thing is happening everywhere. Some some places are getting it worse than others. I was over the weekend. Santa Monica was wild, ladies and gentlemen. I live in Santa Monica, about ten or so kind of short blocks or beach blocks. The streets are a little bit narrower, but away from the Third Street Promenade had five or six helicopters swirling around me that night the night where the big the big stuff happened had uh had people screeching up and down my street parked at the end at the corner of my street smashing into some small businesses down there and looting loading their trunks up you know that's... so a lot of arrests, curfews, people being pushed around, tear gas in the streets, a, few, a couple, I think there were like 
Nine fires. The Santa Monica Fire Department reported nine fires that night. Nine reported fires. Only two of which I saw smoke plumes for. Well, let's not give people ideas, Todd. We're, we're okay for now. Um, <laughs> we've, we've moved all of our stuff to a safe house. And the although it's been pretty it's been pretty quiet in this neck of the woods, but in my my neck of the woods, it's been it was pretty crazy. Then the following day, the community came out, started cleaning up a lot of stuff, cleaning up the graffiti. Chris Rowe with the Kings, Willie Colley Stein, so that was kind of nice to see. So that was awfully nice. And then the next day, there were more protests and stuff, but. But none of the uh, none of the looting or anything like that. So all the peaceful protests were able to happen, um, which is which is awesome. That's what originally that's what it should be. And then even today, I think I think some some pockets here and there, but nothing nearly as 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 widespread as it was last weekend in West Hollywood, and then a few days ago in Santa Monica. So things have been relatively chill, so that's that's good. There's John Stockton to 175. So I'm happy about that, and people can back get back to protesting peacefully. Alright, next box, ladies and gentlemen. The coordinates to the safe house? I can give you the coordinate. I'll give you coordinates to the safe house. Um, go to uh, 1727 East 107th Street. Nine triple zero two. That's 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 a place you need to go. Yeah. Now, once you're in the parking lot. Take ten paces, ten paces from the parking lot, east, five paces south, and then start digging. Josh Gregory's there. Alarm's going off. Does that mean I have to let you in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just finish this break really quick, and, and, and I'll let you in. You just you just hang tight there. You'll be good. Jordan Clarkson Blue. And Damian Dotson is your rated rookie on-card autograph for Zach Gwynn and the Knicks. Hollow rated rookie autograph. We got orange Nikola Jokic to 149. Magic Johnson to 175. Lime for the Lakers. Kemba to 99. Yusuf Nurkic to 175. Sterling Brown. Need a good egg nickname for Jokic? An egg nickname? Is he a good egg?
Yeah. yeah, that would be great. Um, I would wheel and. Uh, very nice. I was going to do another box, but there, she was like, hey, that's good. All right, so Sean Corbett, that's what he looks like. Wait, they, do they know what you look like? I don't think so. Well, there, there's a look at his, his tight midriff right there. Look at that. All right. <laughs> That's Sean. He's doing our Instagram stream. Look at that background right there, too. Doesn't that look pretty sick? So he's, yes, he is a Chargers fan. He's, uh, he's joining our team. And he's doing Instagram streams on Sundays and Mondays at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram. Uh, let's pop open the, uh, the prism. I think that that's really the only help I need here. Thanks. So, actually, put that on camera, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Boom. There it is. Oof, wow. Shots already. Josh Gregory, Chargers fan. Never seen one of those. Okay. Woo! We're, we're everywhere. <laughs> Get used to it, he says. We're everywhere. Hundreds even. The hundreds of them. Well, we'll we'll see. First Chargers home game in SoFi. Post COVID, we'll see what happens. Alright, so you see all the boxes right there. And so he's just gonna rip them open and stack them up. Chargers fan, is he from Utah? No, Jeremy33. He's from uh, here, actually, so Sean can read the chat. Can you see that? How, I don't know how good your eyes are. Not from Utah. Born and raised here. Born, yeah, he's, he's a SoCal kid, Orange County kid. Right next to... Uh, <laughs> right next to Angel Stadium, there you go. I mean, he's not that big. I mean, have you seen me, Malcolm Gray? Actually, can we grab another trash bag? Yeah. All right, there you there you go, boys and girls. All right, Paul Millsap to 199, and we've got old Calvin Murphy. Almost said Calvin Harris. Calvin Murphy. Calvin Harris never played for the Rockets. Didn't have, not have a jump shot like Murphy. That goes to Rob Runkel, R. Runkel, and the Rockets. There's Yabusel to 99. This is case one of the four caser. I'm going through uh, 16, no, check that, 17, 18, Donner's Optic. There's a silver John Collins. People like the John Collins. Hollow John Collins in Optic. That goes to Chance and the Hawks. There's another hollow Giannis. Dennis Rodman is a champ. He's here to 175. How are things in your area, Sean? Uh, quiet. Quiet? No, nothing's gone. Everyone's okay with those cops in orange. Yeah, except for, <laughs> except for Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach has literally turned into uh, the, to okay. the Florida of California. I knew some area was there. Was, yeah. Steal that knife All right, three more boxes out of this. Then we'll start uh, getting into uh, that prism hobby. Maybe find some Zions in there. Then we'll do the mosaic. 
And then we'll flip forward to the high-end case, 1819 Immaculate Basketball. We're going to close out with that. There could be some monsters in there. David has a question for you. Sean? Uh, so Tyrod will start the year. Chargers QB. As long as Tyrod does well, he'll continue through the final year, uh, through the year. If uh, he struggles at all, I think they'll go to Easton Stick just so they can see what they have in him. Good call. Um, but there's no, I mean, no rush in putting Herbert in. And if they have something in Easton Stick, worst case scenario, they can trade him, like a Jimmy Garoppolo situation. But, you know, uh, honestly, I think uh, Herbert probably is going to be the future. I mean, they obviously invested a high draft pick in him, so. <laughs> I mean, I think Sean's right. He is a Chargers apologist, but I think he's spot on. Why they're, they're not going to rush Herbert in early. I mean, until there's fans in the stands, too. Otherwise, they would have traded Tyrod Taylor. Exactly. Or Tyrod or Tyrod, I mean, it's, it's his last year anyway. It's yeah. his last year of his contract. And on top of that, uh, there's not, I mean, there's likely not going to be fans in the stands for a lot of the games. So right. there's not going to be anybody yelling to get Justin Post-COVID. <laughs> That's true, right? No Justin chance. That's TJ Leaf. Without any training camp either, it's going to be difficult. So There's really Paul Westfall at 40. That's true, yeah. I mean, for young quarterbacks. Yeah, there, there's like a... I don't have the numbers in my head, but there is there is like a number that says X percent, like 70% of first-round quarterbacks will end up making a start. But I don't know with a lot of quarterbacks this year. Or quarterbacks like Justin Herbert. Yeah. You know, they're not going to do it because... Unless there's like injury. Because... You know, they're just getting into camp. And Tyrod's been working out, so he looks huge. JJ Reddick, ready to take those, take the punishment. Yeah, Mike Williams is awesome. Derek Rose, 39. Still don't know if he's lived up to number seven pick overall, but he's pretty good. Yeah, the receivers always take a little while, right? Yeah. His catch radius is insane. His catch radius is just this. Literally, like, that and how big, how, like, how much he can reach if he jumps and stuff like that. It's just... All right. There's another Bam Adebayo. That'll be for Greg and the Heat. That's good. I don't think Mike Williams has he has had health issues. Um, he had back issues, yeah. Oh, okay. He had, he had back issues the first... Year or two. Oh, okay. I, I, Maybe yeah. that's what it was. It's kind of lingering. That's his biggest downside. Ooh, David De La Pena starting the rumor mill. Ooh, Dwayne Haskins. This is not confirmed report. This is from from at the David DLP News. Dwayne Haskins working down in Miami with Antonio Brown. Wow, that prism is that prism basketball is crazy. That's a, a, what, over a thousand dollars a box these days. No, eleven forty nine a box. That's crazy. I stopped buying one at four hundred. <laughs> Can you believe they were four hundred? Now that I just don't can't believe they were four hundred dollars a box. Did Rivers punch Chris Jones? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he uh, it was at the end of last uh, last year, so he threw a pick late, and I think it was either a pick or it was a fourth down, like a, a non-converted fourth down, and like he was walking towards Rivers and the offense while the Rivers and the offense were walking towards the sideline. He kept walking towards the sideline, but Rivers finally just grabbed him. I think he grabbed him by like the face mask or whatever. But, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much told the son, don't do that. Just for you, Arthur. Breaking curfew just for you. Sean Corbett up there, breaking curfew as well, just for you guys. We're gonna we we're, we're gonna get misdemeanors just for you. Is that what the charge? I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't think so. Oh. Lonzo Ball. Sounds cool though. Yeah, it sounds cool. We're gonna get misdemeanors just for you. Let's 
just our our level of dedication for for you and everybody. Justice Winslow to one. No, I'm driving back home. There's JJ Reddick. I'll just be like, hey, actually, technically, we're supposed to be able to drive to and from work, so we should be okay. Lonzo Ball, he's got a nice auto. That goes to, that's Lakers edition of Lonzo going to Mike Samich. I feel like, I feel like Lonzo still sells decently in the secondary market, so a lot of people in LA area really like him. All right. An all-nighter of breaking? No thanks. Jaspie's case breaks at gmail.com. Colton, sorry about that. Is there a Luca logo man in Immaculate? I don't know if that's been pulled. No, someone said that. I feel like someone recently said that the Luca Doncic logo man plus auto stayed at or has been pulled. But the non-auto logo, man, I think there has not been a sign of that. I think. I don't know. It's been a couple of years by now, so who knows? Maybe it could have been pulled and sold privately or something like that. I have no idea. Checklist for Tier 1. Probably not until... I don't know what's going on with the checklist. Tops is usually really good about checklists, but I think with COVID, the pandemic, not a lot of people at the office. So I don't know what the ch what's happening in that checklist. I would I would imagine the night before. And we got pre-orders for that already on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's true, Mac. Yeah, if we stay on the on the cot, not criminals. How were your first couple nights on, on air? It's good. I wasn't, was wasn't able to watch, well, really. It was, Sorry. It was awesome until we got a uh, curfew notification at 520. Right. So we, had, we had to leave at 6. But no, I mean, we had some really nice stuff for people. John Collins, a, Hollow, Chance. We had a purple mosaic, a uh, purple dog shit out of mosaic the last couple of nights. But uh, I, went, I went home and I was like, <laughs> nice. nice. Comfortable with the whole setup and the process and all that? Yeah. Not rocket science. It's just more about knowing the cards and just just chit chatting on air. That's about it. All clear for takeoff. Jamal Murray to 175. JJ Reddick, pink velocity to 79. Devin Booker, orange to 199. And Donovan Mitchell. Nice. Rookie Dominator Signatures Gold. That must be out of 10. That'll be for the Jazzy Jazz. Ryan Shackleton in Utah. Utah, 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 Utes. What's a Ute, Sean Corbett? Uh, I think it's like the name of their settlers. Oh, like Sooners? Yeah. Gotcha. It, it might, be, uh, might be tied to like a, a tribe or something. Prism box number one. Prism box number two. We are in Zion era now. Prism box number three. They should... That's kind of recent, Shackleton. They should be able to give you the actual card there. I think there was that initial scare of, we're not going to redeem anything. And then I think they walked it back pretty quickly after that. So if not, they'll probably give you a significant amount of points for it. There's George McGinnis. Um... Y, uh, U-T-E, Ute, 
That's the name of the uh, Utah University's team, college team. We got Marc Gasol to 299, Carson Edwards, Red Wave, Luck of the Lottery, John Morant, Donovan Mitchell, Silver. We've got an RJ Barrett, Hyper. Set that over there, different pile. For the Knicks, Carson Edwards to 149, Nasir Little, Hyper. These LeBron Jameses are nice too, but let's try to find some color for that LeBron James. A silver or better. Shaq, Kyrie, DJ Augustine to 99. No, he's from who? Wait, who? Are you talking about Sean or are you talking about Kyle Kuzma? Kuzma's from Utah, I think, or went to Utah. Uh, Sean Corbett, born and raised in Southern California. PJ, yeah, I just was just asking him for for information. All right, PJ Washington, silver. Kid, the kids on the roof, yeah. There's Jalen Brunson at 25. All one of the residents has to do is go up there and let them all into the apartment. It's true, yeah. How long, yeah, how long are the police going to stake out that? And we got Eric Pascal for the Warriors. Jonathan with the Warriors. Mario Hazonia, John Collins, Red Wave. Davidis Servitas to 299. Cameron Johnson, Hyper. John Wall, Silver. Norman Powell, Red Wave. Fred Van Bleet, Blue to 199. Kent Bazemore and Tyrone Wallace. Sensational signatures for the T-Wolves. That'll be for Zach Paul, who won that in a retail spot. There's our first Zion sighting. Luck of the lottery. Zion, ooh. Another Zion might be coming up. All right, so here's an insert. No parallel. Pelicans. Oren, who bought a spot straight up. And there's our Zion count right there. Bought a spot straight up and got randomized the Pelicans. What would the what would the what would the Pelicans be <laughs> if this was a pick your team break? There's Darius Baisley to 199. That would be wild. Saving Kobe's too. Montrez will ship. That's a silver. Seiko Demboya, Red Wave. Zebrea. Nice Luka Doncic, Red Wave. Just don't mess up the mall in Brea. <laughs> I mean, but the mall, though. <laughs> Not the mall. <laughs> Shaq to two ninety nine. Well, the right nice, Seiko Demboya silver for Adam Kupperman and the Pistons. No, not the Bray Improv. No. Bray is very tiny. So Schofield. But they've got that mall there. That goes to Robert Fanzo and the Wizards. John Morant base. When I was a kid growing up, it would be like, oh, Brea Mall? Who has a car? Let's go to Brea Mall. It was like, it was like, ooh, Brea. 
it'd be going to like the Spectrum in Irvine. We'd be like, ooh. Spectrum's cool. Spectrum is cool. I've always liked the Spectrum. Spectrum is cool. I grew up but, right, right next to the block. But for us, it was just like, wow. Spectrum. Who's going to get a car and go out, to the, go out to the Spectrum? Scoof off. And Promenade, too. But it was just like... You would take girls to the. You would take girls to Third Street. Oh. That that's what it was for like dates and stuff. Yeah. Like gotta go to Third Street. There's the pier. There's the promenade. Spend your high school allowance on like food. Romeo Langford, sensational signatures. Uh, Romeo Langford will go to Adam and the Celtics. Cody Martin blew to 199. Lonzo Silver, Zach Collins, Hyper. Ooh, what is this? Tremont Waters, five out of five. Wow, Celtics rookie. Adam D, who got the Celtics from a spot he won in the retail pack break. Wow. Yeah, I think the Celtics are winning the break thus far. Look at that. Adam D, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! So far, so good for the Seas. My rivals, there's Myers Leonard and Goga Batadze. Indiana Pacers, Oren, with Indianapolis. Oh, would your comment before that was even hit? I think so. I think you're right. Yeah, so Lonnie Walker to 75. A Giannis out of five sold for 2,700 a little bit ago from Prism. Eight, from 1920 Prism? Tremont Waters is on par with that. that, that that'd be wild. Yeah, Tremont Waters will sell for about that. <laughs> Speaking of Giannis, there he is. Seth Curry to 299 No, not those little fences. There's like a little fence that go up to your about your ankle. Uh, is it in Brea? No, this is near the mayor's house. Uh, they have those in Brad, too. I like people sit in front of people's yeah. houses. All right, let's get a couple more boxes and work through these. This is our four case mixer, folks. We did our first case. Uh, so we did our first case 17, 18, Donner's Optic Hobby. There's 25. Andre Roberson, Luka Doncic. And we're kind of in the middle of our second case, which is 1920 Prism Basketball. Each of these boxes are over a thousand bucks. The second year Luka Doncic is selling well. Zion and John ja Morant in here. I haven't seen any signif anything significant yet on the John ja Morant side of things, but ooh, there was one coming up apparently. Spoiler alert: There's a base Zion right here, Kayvon Looney to 199, Romeo Langford, Hyper. John Morant, fireworks. All right, so an insert Zion, insert jaw for McSub, base Zion for the Pelicans. That's for Oren. What are these going for now? 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks. Maybe a silver goes for 150 nowadays. I might, I might still be under. There's Chuma Okiki to 149. Yes, Will Christian. Or didn't we do that already? What number? I think we did. I thought we did one today. Did I not upload it? Wasn't that what you did right before it went out? No, I thought I did the hanger. I guess I didn't do that. That'll probably be tomorrow. Then, yeah, that'll be tomorrow. I could have sworn I did one today. Uh, 
Yeah, I did Mini 14. Did I not upload Mini 14? Was it this break? Rajon Rondo to 199. Jeremy 33 saying, sell the Zion. Why? why? Sell the Zions? Ooh, Zion Williamson. Autograph. Wow. Oren with the Pelicans. <laughs> Jeremy 33 says, sell. I don't know. It's a tricky situation. If you don't think he's going to be anything, maybe you do sell. But but if you believe that he's going to be a very nice player, there's Wanda Hollis Jefferson Raptors. If you believe he's going to be a player, then maybe you got to grade it, you got to hold on to it, and you got to let that marinate. Sure, prices are going to go up and down. That's just how the market works. But you got to think, if you're thinking long run. How many viewers are here by your stuff joke? What is that? Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Nice football play. Good for you. Built a new randomization tool. Yeah? Todd built one too that randomizes him to the best position. There's Kevin Willis. I know. That new random football player's new randomization tool. All of a sudden football player gets the Pelicans every time. In 1920 basketball breaks. Alright, that sensational signature. Kevin Willis will go to Chance and the Hawks. There's Zuhunta Murray to 199. And the Pelicans go to football player again. Hmm. How'd that happen? And the winner of the break credit is football player. What? Uh -huh. yeah. Using using footballplayerrandomizer.com. Somehow. Grizzlies for the football player. What? <laughs> pay me. So if you if you pay us. You'll be will you'll be the exclusive randomizer provider for Jaspi's case breaks. Base Zion, nice. Goes along nicely with that auto. Hey, what, did anyone anyone say what those sign sign? Which are the Zion autographs, base autos these days? Someone look that up. It uses the Fisher Yates algorithm. Hmm. Two mathematicians I don't believe in after reading their work. Zion Williamson, Oren. Fisher Yates, Hacks. I've read their papers. Their work on randomizing, kind of weak. Kind of weak. What's wrong with Adam Smith? There's Nikhil Alexander Walker, Pelicans. You watch you watch Wonder Years, right? Back in the day. Yes. You know Winnie Cooper, Girl Next Door. Winnie Cooper is my all-time crush. Yeah. Her also, and, uh, she has her name on a math paper. She's super smart. She went to she went to UCLA and did like some sort of. And she pub she's gotten been published, like did a math and math like PhD dissertation or something so like that. Was Winnie Cooper and then Topanga from Boy. Topanga from Boy Meets World. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with with Danica McKe Dan McKellar? That's her name. For who? Winnie Cooper. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just I don't know. Winnie. 
<laughs> so if you saw their street, I know, I know that uh, I know that uh, Topanga's real name is Dan Danielle or Danielle Fisher. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe she did Fisher Yates algorithm, and then Winnie Cooper did the opposing math algorithm. Who went to Harvard? Winnie Cooper? I thought she went to UCLA. Somebody said it was that's not bad for the Zion Auto. All right, here's another box. Thank you, sir. Here's the next box. All right, good luck. We got Terrence Mann. Sensational Signatures, who is uh, the James Earl Jones character in A Field of Dreams. We've got to 149, Kyle Lowry. Send me an email, the, the football player. Jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com. We'll take a look at it. All right, nice. So Zion Williamson base, Oren Pelicans. Another base. Another Giannis as well. Luka Doncic. David Strauss. All right, see you tomorrow. Yeah, I will. Wait, hold on. Not the shipping room? No. Okay. Yeah, I already made the paper. So just just for the just as is. Just we Yeah. Sounds good. Dylan Windler Silver. Andrew Wiggins to 199. Got Brandon Clark to 299. Anthony Hardaway, Cam Reddish, sensational signatures. Going to Chance and the Atlanta Hawks. Nice. Still, still has a lot of upside, Cam Reddish. Goga Batadze. Those young people. Is that right? Who voted? Oh, all the rookies yeah, the voted rookie that's that they voted and they said that Cam Reddish would be the most successful out of all of them. Yeah. Well, he definitely has upside. I mean, they know they know basketball, so. Well, buy low on Cam Reddish's because he's not at that elite. Elite tier rookies right now, basketball from the 1920 class, Zion and John Morant, easily, right? I mean, Zion could even be a tier above John Morant, his own tier. There's Dewan Hernandez. And then there's the rest. There's like that, that first Zion and John Morant, right? And then there's another block of players right there. You know, that's Hachimura lives there. Cam Reddish lives there. RJ Barrett is in that tier. Kendrick Nunn would be in that tier, you know. So it's so it's those guys. But Camera should be in that tier, but he's not. He's in maybe that third tier below, you know, which was maybe where yeah, where guys like, you know, where guys like uh, Cody Martin lives, Darius Garland, Jarrett Culver, you know. I, oh, Kobe White would be in that in that group with Hachimura. Where'd you put Matisse? Tybal, I think, is still under in that really? third tier. Yeah. His defensive abilities. Oh, I know, but but it's just like, incredible. just I'm talking right now. I would invest yeah. in those third tier guys. Yeah. Second tier guys maybe. I can see. But the third tier guys for sure. I can see Tybal. You know that. 
offensive line was like ridiculous defensively. It was, you know, I'm yeah. talking more in terms of hobby, but but yeah, I mean Matisse Thabo could easily be into that into that range. PJ Washington, that third group right here, could jump into that second group. I feel like hobby wise, it'd be Kevin Porter Jr. I feel like people like more than Darius Garland. Maybe, maybe I'm flipping those guys around in terms of those two Cavs guys, but. But it's a strong draft. The point is, it's a strong draft class. There's there's a lot, a lot of places where you can you can try to buy low, and get high. And the Zion John Morant game's a little tough right now, because you're gonna have to ride out so many different dips and waves and bumps and ups and downs. You know, at a at a very high price range, it's like having like Amazon stock. You got to prepare to lose like hundreds of dollars a day. And then gain hundreds of dollars a day for a what two thousand dollars stock, right? So that's that's a whole other game. But if you're looking to buy low, sell high, there are some low second tier, high third tier guys you can check out. Andrew Wiggins, Timberwolves. Also think the rookie adjacent, so like Brandon Clark, maybe Nikhil Alexander Walker. Since they're you know, rookie adjacent, nice, good real estate lingo in there. I like that. <laughs> Rookie adjacents, Brandon Clark, Sean Corbett saying, Nikhil Alexander Walker. Was it? Did you you just say it, or is it someone in the chat say it? How Lonzo Ball maybe get that Zion bump? Yeah, definitely. No, somebody else. Said someone in the chat said it. Yeah, Lonzo, rookie Lonzo is getting a Zion bump because he's he's getting how many more assists a night because he's passing to his uh, to to Zion and Brandon Ingram. You know. Same thing we were talking about with like Brady, with you know. Even yeah. Evans, yeah. Evans and Brady elevates everybody they too. Another three boxes right here. Good luck, everybody. There's Wilson Chandler to 199. Oh, come on. What kind of reporting is that? No, you get in there, you talk to someone. Don't follow me. Yeah, that's not what reporters do. Oh, come on. That was bad local news reporting. A good local news reporter would be... Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. The, the authorities told me not to get the, get the truth. I don't know. Maybe she's been out there for eight hours and she's like, I just don't feel like doing this. I don't want to yell at anymore. <laughs> yeah, I've been yelled at all yell day. At protesters. I'm yell at Jared Dudley. I literally can't wait. Mike Somich. Yeah, maybe she's just like, oh, forget it. <laughs> well, she probably, I mean, I'm guessing most of the protesters really don't like that. Out of 299, Kevin Fox. You know I mean? Yeah, probably not. Chumo Kiki. I know, she's not going for it. 
Will Christian, I guess, I guess she's had a long day. I don't. I mean, listen, if she's been out there walking around in the sun, it's actually, it's really nice out here. But inland, it's like mid 80s, or like closer to downtown, 80, 80 some odd degrees, no cloud cover. So these cops are probably boiling in all this gear that they've been wearing all day. So maybe everyone just got, we're just got too tired, tired out. We got a fearless silver LeBron James. That's pretty nice for Samich and the Lakers. So is this base one right here. If we pull a silver one of these, that's even nicer. That's what we're looking for. I'll bet Jeremy33 lived in Rhode Island for a few years, and I'll bet the local news is very entertaining. Yeah, local news, I love and hate local news. There's Nikhil Alexander-Walker, silver, and there's his autograph. Again, second auto for the Pelicans. Oren. Woo. What a break for you, man. There's Al Horford to 99. And Bernard King, old Nick, going to Zach G. Get all those RJ Barrett's too. He's got he's got room to grow. RJ Barrett. Yeah, we pulled a number of Kobe Whites already. There's out of 199 Admiral Schofield. Base Kobe Whites, which will all of course ship to you. So yeah, all of those add up. Joe Harris. 99. Michael Porter Jr., Carson Edwards Hyper. Hassan Whiteside to 199. More Giannis. Dylan Windler, we were just talking about Dylan Windler. Silver going to Brian Zeller and the Cavs. There's Matisse Teibel. We were just talking about him too. The 299 for the Sixers. That'll be for Zach T. Chumo Kiki. Marcus Morris and a spur, Keldon Johnson. Which spur? Which spur were you high on for Popovich turn into an All Star? Lucas Samanich. That's probably true too. Look what he's doing with. Look what he did with Kawhi. Look what he did with Dehunta Murray is like a player now. Maybe not hobby wise, but he could be. Lonnie Walker. You know, Lonnie Walker's pretty pretty spirited. And Jackson Hayes. Mojo. Another nice Pelican. Could be some upside there. You're not a criminal until you're convicted, Mac. Cody Martin. Right, they haven't gotten us yet, McCarthy, for us breaking curfew. Antoine Walker, Celtics. And if we get arrested, I, 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 I fully hope and assume that the Jaspi Army will rise up and take to the streets and make sure they go to our local police department and send them stern letters to, to release us. Good letter, good letter writing campaign. <laughs> All right, luck of the lottery, Jackson Hayes. Oh, is that it? Nice. Thanks. There's the 149. That was a big help. Thank you, Sean Corbett. You can watch him on Sundays and Mondays on the Instagram live stream. 
and he will take care of your personal box needs. Uh, no, I can pop those open. Those should be pretty easy, right? The mosaic's small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do those on it. It was the prism that I was definitely worried about. You can pop that open if you want to, if you're bored. If you like doing it. There's Luka Doncic. More Lukas. You'll bail me out for the right card, Mac? I don't know. True members of the Jaspi Army would just would just uh, bail me out, and Sean, just for just out of the goodness of their own hearts, knowing that good karma and good hits will eventually cycle back around to them. Jake and Logan Paul's fans would do it. Yeah. Jordan Bone to 75. Jeremy 33 would do it. He'd bail us out, no questions asked. Right, Jeremy? <laughs> Logan Collister would bail us out, no questions asked. Anthony Hardaway and Jordan Poole. Warriors. Jonathan L. Let's get two boxes up here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, listen, we're the ones breaking curfew just to break for you guys, so... Hopefully there'll be a few people that step up. I think Ryan Harold is licensed to practice law in Southern Cal or in California. So, yeah, I'm I'm more of a bird law sort of guy, but I think Ryan Harold could definitely uh, help us out. Sixteen, seventeen. Ben Simmons class. L L Long was not in sixteen, seventeen. No, not a very good class. I want to say. Wait, who's in sixteen? Now, see, now I gotta look. Oh, that's the Brandon Ingram class. So that's the Ben Simmons, Brandon Ingram, Jalen Brown, Buddy Heal, Jamal Murray, Sabonis, Thon Maker. Siakam's in there. Maybe she's like B team. Right? This late at night? A team's out. Out in the day, right? It's like, this is your shot, Connie. <laughs> this, is, this is your shot, Connie. Hey, you remember when you told the camera, I'm not going to go over there because they told me not to go over anymore? That was the end. You know, the news director, he or she was just like, slap. It's like, Connie, you got to get in there. Connie, we're trying to get them to get mad at us. On, yeah. On film. It's like, ah, oh, points that trick me. So I'm going to re-randomize everybody's names. Name on top. We'll get the Zion, which is in our vault right now. We'll pull it out of the vault to ship it to you. And the second name, we'll get those 600 points. Brandon Ingram to 299. Which movement are you trying to stop? Cops? <laughs> Jay Little No. Timberwolves. No one's going to listen to this part anyway. Zach Paul, it's an hour long. Two hour long video. It's a 120 already. So she just ended up talking to the cops instead? Yeah. At a 149? Scaredy cat. John ja Morant fireworks. Yeah, I don't know. John Morant, fireworks. This is a hassle for everybody. <laughs> no, no one's happy. 
protesters aren't happy. Cops aren't happy. Reporters are out there all day. Cops are getting tons of overtime, though. That's true. Coming out of our pockets. Do you think there's any cops that uh, break with you? Cricks? Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Uh, Cricks. More buying power. John Moran, there you go. Support small businesses with your overtime. Jared Allen. Nice silver John Morant fireworks. It's a nice one for McSub. Oh, they ended up on the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dark. I don't know. Get some, get some lights on there. Newscopter. I mean, everything seemed pretty peaceable, but but they're up there. Yeah, you can see them. They're, they're like zip tying everybody, helping them up. Where do you get those zip ties? Those are kind of cool. They've already got the holes, and then you just go. I think Uline, Uline, Uline maybe has them. Maybe look look it up on Uline. Maybe maybe my UPS store will have one of those. How can I help you, sir? We're just looking for those zip ties you see on TV. You know the ones where you just they're already they already have the loops made out. That's the tough part. You buy those zip ties, and you gotta loop them into the. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Alonzo Trier. There was a, uh, there's a sex shop down the street of my apartment, at the at the end of my block, just maybe like two or three apartment complexes away. Totally looted. <laughs> the kids just smash into it, and they were just like running out with armfuls of stuff. I hope the video of that is super funny. I hope I yeah I want that to emerge pretty soon. JJ Reddick to 299. Yeah, this guy's definitely B team too, huh? What's funny is watching it earlier, they were like, we're six and a half hours in, man. It's still been very peaceful protest. But we have a feeling that something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Of course you do, Fox. Just leading in. Breaking news. Peace. For now? Question mark? See? Max says the U-Line does carry them. No, they did not. No, I know they carry zip ties. Uh, I'm talking like the cops have one that are already looped. Uh, no the and then they're just ready to be like zzz, zzz. Uh, be a platinum member with U-Line. I, I, I guess so. No, and they're already like linked together and looped. And you can just zzz. Who gets the who? Let's follow the money. Who's getting that zip line contract? You know, for a major police department like the LAPD. Definitely not the right? No, because you got. You put, I'm assuming you have to like. You got to cut them to pop those open. Oh, they probably hurt. <laughs> Lugan's Dorts. I'd rather get the the cuffs, the regular cuffs. That's a uh, Jacob with thunder. Another Zion base. Wow. That reporter was getting aggressive. <laughs> Apparently, they just don't want to release him in front of cameras. <laughs> Great case for you, Pelicans. Oren Wilf. Zion autograph. I didn't see a Zion silver, but a few Zion bases and then some inserts. So all in all, pretty, pretty strong. I'm going to not forget to do these points later. All right, now what do we have here? We've got some mosaic. Well, here, here's the Zion report. One, two, three, four, five base Zions, a luck of the lottery. None of them were hollow, but of course there was the Zion autograph that... I mean, all that just covered his spot easily. Maybe bo he bought two spots straight up. He's probably in pretty close to paying for both spots. And then there's the other Nikhil Alexander Walker. So if he grinds those out too, I mean, he's gonna Warren's gonna be in really good shape. Brandon Ingram, rookie. 
And I'm pretty sure all the mosaic will ship because they're all considered some sort of insert, you know what I mean? The color is not numbered. We see... Remember, Ben Simmons stuff, he's, his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck. So consequently, his cards out of Panini end up going for a lot more than you would than you would think. Yeah, definitely respect. Yeah, respect for Oren, right? For buying buying those spots straight up. He took a big gamble, and ended up with the Pelicans. Good for him. Doesn't, it doesn't always work that way. I'm sure Oren's been buying with us for a while. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's gone the other way many times too, but. This time, so far so good this time. What, no one knows, everyone knows Chris, who Christine Devine is in LA. What are you talking about? She doesn't need ID. She's, 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 a, she's a local news legend. Oh, show it again so we can... Yeah. Take a picture and then Go scan it. Yeah. Hey, I lost this yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're Jake Wallace of Fox News. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Jake. Yep. I'm Jake. <laughs> or are you paying with a credit card that says Sean? Because <laughs> he gave me his credit card. <laughs> the one, four, five, six basketball player signed with Upper Deck makes so, no sense. Why? I think it makes tons of sense. I'll tell you why. A, Upper Deck pays them a lot more than Panini does for these individual contracts. B, they also have the luxury of not signing as many cards. So Ben Simmons probably saved himself signing thousands of cards and probably makes more money when he does sign cards for Upper Deck. Now for the spirit of the game, yeah, come on, Ben Simmons. You know, sign with Panini so we can see your autograph. For the people. Man of the people. Be a man of the people, but... Apparently he is the man of the dollar bills. I don't blame him. If I was in, in his shoes, I'd probably do the same thing. Patrick McCaw, McCaw, is your first autograph out of 1670 Panini Prism Mosaic. This is when, before they just called it just Mosaic, it's Prism Mosaic. Some of these cards are sticking together from over the years. All right, Coco, what do you got for us? Oh, nice Ben Simmons. All right, so who's got the Sixers in the Zach T with the Sixers? This is a nice Ben Simmons. Nice, so that's pretty strong right there. We got a Giannis out of here too. Thank you. All right. So here are the final mosaic boxes. This is 1617. And that would be a Brandon Ingram rookie autograph. Nice. Big hit for Mike Somich and my Lakers. There you go. There you go. Who gets it? Oh, this guy? Sean, Sean Corbett? Yeah, he gets it. I mean, he was, he was, uh, he was at our door just scratching like a little cat. And we're just like, all right, you can work, you can work for us. Not that we needed the help. We didn't need the help or anything. We were doing, we were just fine. So we were just like, oh, well, at, the, at our screen door, scratch, scratch. 
little saucers of milk did not help. So we're like, all right, we'll take you in. Uh, we are watching a big grocery area here. Quite a crowd there. Um, while we look at this picture here, I want to bring in Leo Tarrell, civil rights attorney. And you, oh, not, we're trying not doing a box of immaculate. Come on, Jeremy33. Then, then it's just like, oh, Sean, why not do two boxes of immaculate? Then it's like, Sean, why not just do Tuesdays? Oh, Sean, why not just do the entire week for Joe? And then what happens then? Then I'm out on the streets, living out of my Tesla. There's Malik Beasley. What kind of life would that be? Derek Melanson with the Nuggets. You know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure that glass ceiling is firmly above him <laughs> until I retire. Yeah, put on Joe's glasses. Wear Joe's hats. You know? Get some plastic surgery like Sean Connery did in You Only Live Twice, which is very cringy. Remember that? No, I think it's You Only Live Twice. Uh, he turned into a Japanese person. No. Yeah. When was this made? It's like 60s, of course. Have you ever seen I think I think it's You Only Live Twice. Have you ever seen the interview of him and Barbara Walters? Is that where he says that slapping women is okay? Yes. That, yeah, that's a classic Sean that Connery one. Is one of the hardest conversations. To yeah, watch. it was it was rough. <laughs> he, what did he say? He said something about you know sometimes I just need a little rap. Oh, yeah, cross, something like that. And you, you it's like you kind of cock your head and you're like, did he really? <gasps> he did. Oh man, another Ben Simmons for the Sixers, by the way, for Zach T. And you were like, oh, then it, then it stopped becoming Sean Connery, and then it was like, oh, that's my grandfather. Like, oh, God. <laughs> this, this is like, he's an old man. <laughs> he's, Somebody stop him. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like your uncomfortable grandfather, your old he, uncle. I mean, yeah, I guess he was old then, too. Huh? He was old, yeah, it was like the 80s. So he but was, that was so long ago, and now he's old, and you're like, wait. Yeah, he, he, he somehow survived that, though. Yeah, he was just old for a long time. I think people were just like, were just like, oh, okay. I mean... We're used to him being a womanizer as James Bond, so maybe that doesn't surprise us. <laughs> so they just kind of let it go, and then he did like First Night with Richard Gere, and then he did The Rock in the mid '90s, and First Night, and then he was the voice of the dragon, and then he just I I think somebody kept going. Back, somebody went back and asked him, "Were like, do you regret that?" He goes, "No." <laughs> did he double down on it? Yes. <laughs> Sean Connery has somehow branded himself where he where he can be. Uh, <laughs> Where he is, like, impervious to that, I guess? I, I guess, like, he somehow adapted, like, the female sex symbol as a male type role. Man. To the point that, like, nothing he does can get him in can, trouble. Yeah, not, Sean Connery has probably murdered people. And everyone's just like, yeah. I mean, he is James Bond, and everyone's like, where's Chris Dunn? I feel like he'd be disappointed to find out he didn't murder somebody. Tim <laughs> Zach Paul. Um, not sure. Nick might Nick might be awake, he might be sleeping. I don't know. He, Nick's been working pretty hard over the weekend, making sure our store is safe. All right, boys and girls. Here we go. So, hey, the magnets a five box case? Baseball six? Baseball's like eight. I think football six, right? I don't remember. It always throws me off. All right. All right. Boys and girls, we made it to the end. Big thanks to Sean for helping out. Let's uh, let's see what, we, see what we got in here. Last case. This is 1819 Immaculate Basketball. So keep that in mind. That is the Luka Doncic... Trey Young draft class. David S. is saying, David Strauss bought a spot straight up and got randomized the Mavs. So he's got some vested interest in this one here. Oh, a redemption on the bottom. I was trying to hide the logo there, but maybe I don't have to. Let's hide that. All right, so nothing else on the cart. We're here at the very end. We're an hour and 30 minutes in. And we are almost done, boys and girls. We got, no, I won't. Thank you. Steph Curry to 25. 21 out of 49. Kemba Walker. 
Hornets, that'll be for Melanie. Won that spot. We got standout, Paul George, still Thunder edition here. Jacob K with that. And we've got Elvin Hayes for the Rockets. 28 out of 99 for Runkle and the Rockets. We've got J.J. Redick for the Sixers. Modern Marks Auto to 25. Nice. That'll be for Zach T. Solid break for the uh, Sixers, too. I think you'll be surprised at how well those Ben Simmons may go for. I don't know if they're going for, like, Zion money, but it should go pretty well. Dual autographs. Uh-oh. Dual autographs. Hopefully just one team. Come on, one team. Card 38. L. U K A. This is the Luka Doncic Trey Young duel, isn't it? It's a randomizer, folks. You know this. David Strauss, Mavs, Chance Motes, Hawks. Yep. Wow. One very happy person, one very sad person. Another redemption on the bottom. Were there that many? I don't remember that many redemptions in this particular year. 18 out of 35, Karis LeVert. Joe Harris, 20 out of 99 relic. With the younger generation, which, which now have the ability to vote, I think it's called Generation Z. Joe Harris for the Nets, that'll be for Zach M. Out of 25, we got Rudy Gobert, Jazz, that'll be for Ryan Shackleton. Jeremy33 wants to bet on who's going to get who's gonna get it. There's Grayson Allen, Jazz, 14 out of 25. Yep. They are redeemable, Malcolm Gray. The expiration is not until next year, April 2021. And a five out of five, Mike Conley. Nice. You guys see his home gym? On the, uh, on the horse competition? It's like a high school gym. There you go. Grizzlies, Martin, mix up. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Next redemption. <laughs> Dual autographs. No. Immaculate moments. So let's see. D. Dwight Howard. A. DeAndre. DeAndre Ayton. D'Angelo Russell. <laughs> DeAndre Ayton would not be in this class. No, he would be in this class. No. This is 1819. Number one, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the Luka Doncic, Trey Young, Michael Porter Jr., DeAndre Eaton was drafted number one. D'Angelo Russell drafted by the, uh, not drafted by, but he is a Laker in this particular year on the checklist. Mike Samich with the Lakers. A few more to go. Oh, both people are in the room. That's chance. Confirmed chance, David Strauss. Now, if you work out a if you work out a money deal, I still have to do the randomize. You just, someone's just gonna have to ship it to someone. So, just FYI on that. But yeah, if you want to negotiate a deal here in the chats, you can. Out of twenty-five, Lonzo Ball. Immaculate stuff on this side right here. Lonzo uh, base going to Mike Samich. We've got Jacob Evans to 49. Golden State Warriors, Jonathan L. Ooh, and a two out of three SGA Nike swoosh. I feel like there's a contingent of collectors who really love the SGA. So that's a strong one right there, Greg. Nice. 
Greg with the Clippers swoosh. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! We got Don Cheney. Don Cheney. 10 out of 25. This is Dick's brother. All right, here that goes to Adam with the C's. Jerome Robinson, 2 out of 99. David S. is going to gamble with it, huh? And he's going to let the randomizer do the work, do the dirty work, good or bad. And we got Dominique Wilkins, nice, 8 out of 99. Nice, Dominique Wilkins going to Chance and the Hawks. Two more to go, then a couple big randomizers. Remember, we're still giving away that Zion PSA 10, too. Saw that nick on the bottom there. We got Sweet Lou Williams to 35. That'll be for Greg. 74 out of 99, DeMontis Sabonis. Pacers. 4 out of 25. Uh, KG, Kevin Garnett. KG, hands off the glass. Zach with the Nets. 51 out of 99. Miami Heat. I like that shadow box look. Shane Battier. That'll be for Greg B. Chandler Hutchinson. 3 out of 25. Two color jersey and autograph for the Bulls. Mac with Chi Town. And the Nick was introductions auto. He's got a nice auto. Mitchell Robinson. So that is 55 out of 99. No, no parallel. I think Christine Devine just yeah, threw her husband under a yeah. bus and was like, she had a car impounded, but it was the husband's fault. Wow. We are heading now to... Mr. Christine Devine's like, honey, come on. <laughs> I just left in that lot one time. and So we didn't pay a few tickets, parking tickets. D-Wade... Wendell Chandler, 61 out of 99. For Mike McCarthy. We got a one of one, Andrew Wiggins. Remarkable relic. Who's wigging out? That's Zach Paul with the T Wolves. We got a few train whistles in this. All right. Zach, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. We've got Kenyon Martin, heralded autograph. Old net, 75 out of 99, going to Zach M. Ooh, Robert Parrish. 29 out of 49 on a really thick card stock here. This might not go into... Yeah, this might have to go into a slider box, which I have right here. Really heavy card sock on that. It must be a piece of his sneaker. We'll put a filler card right here too so it doesn't rattle around in shipping. But it says game worn, but SN, maybe sneaker? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Celtics with a nice break too from start to finish. Adam. Adam D with that one. And we've got a two-color patch, a rookie, and an autograph. It's an RPA, Marvin Bagley. Yeah, this was a good case. All right, Sacramento Kings, Chris Rowe, I think. First time I'm calling your name, but there you go, man. Congrats to you. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we got some scary randomizers to do. Uh, the first randomizer is going to be for the... It's going to be for the Zion and the 600 points. Live 
So that's just the base Zion PSA 10. So that'll be the name on top. Second name will get the 600 points. And the second randomizer will be Luke Doncic, Trey Young. Remember, we still have to randomize it and send it to somebody. The deal that you guys work out will be, will be a side deal. All right. So let's go back to this list here. We do new dice, blank list. We need a second one, actually. So the first one, chance down to Robert will be the Zion and the points. And then we'll have Dallas and Atlanta for the dual auto. Luka Doncic, Trey Young, two of the top rookies. I love it when they get it right. When the dual auto is like both like the top players of that draft class. Sometimes it could have been like... It's not Jordan and Sam Bowie. Yeah, right, right, right. You don't want that. You don't want that. You want like Jordan and... Who else? There was like, that was a good class. Who else was in that class? It was a good class, yeah. All right, so there you go. One dice roll for both lists. Ten times, six and a four. We'll do the big group list first. Six and a four, ten times. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Wilkins, right, nine and ten. There you go, Mac. Yeah, you want the Dominique Wilkins-Michael Jordan dual autograph in 1984 Panini Immaculate Basketball. Not Dominique. And, all right. So the top two. Second name is going to be Chris Rowe. There you go, 600 points going your way, Chris. Congrats to you. And Jacob with the Zion. We have it in our vault. We have it. That's that's the actual picture of the Zion. Oh, that's the actual picture of the Zion we have. So congrats to you. It's in our vault. We'll get it out to you. Congrats, PSA 10, on that Zion Williamson. Second name, Chris Rowe, once again, 600 points. Ooh, David S. saying... He's a bit of a gambler, and he's gonna. He just wants. To, okay, he just wants a straight randomizer. I mean, it was gonna be a side deal anyway, but let's see how it works out. Six and a four, ten times. Good luck. Team on top gets it after ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, over and over and over again. Nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, goes to Atlanta. Chance Motes. After ten, gets the Luka Doncic Trey. I don't think I called your name out. All break until this moment right here, Chance. Maybe a couple things here and there, but nothing significant. So there you go. After 10, Atlanta gets it. David S. saying congrats. Thanks, David. Um, we'll get him next time, man. We'll get him next time. Appreciate everybody getting in. That was the Jaspies high-end 4-case basketball mixer. That was a great one. Maybe we should do it. It took a little bit to fill, but I think, I think I would like to do another one of these if we have enough cases on hand. I don't know if we have any more prism cases on hand, but thank you very much, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Be good, be safe out there, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.